Welcome to the August edition of My Market Wrap. My name's Simon Pintado from the Buxton Real Estate Group. What a month it's been. Low stock levels, high auction clearance rates. There was an average clearance rate across the board for Buxton Bentley of 78%, which is about on average for what the Melbourne average clearance rate was for the month of August. Stock levels are actually down 14 to 20% across the board, across Melbourne, across Victoria as well. So what that means to you as a potential vendor is if you were to put your property on the market now, you have a lot less competition than what you typically would, obviously now in the lead up to spring. Certainly fantastic news, the RBA, or I should say fantastic news for those of us who are looking to purchase or for those of us that are homeowners, the RBA did slash rates down to a record low of 1.5% for the cash rate. So all of these things I think out there in the marketplace have certainly added fuel to the fire and certainly kept the market very, very buoyant over the month of August. But let's give you a bit of a snapshot into the top sales that happened over the month of August. Our best sale was number 11 Wilson Street in Bentley, a beautiful French provincial home. That property was sitting on about 570 square metres, beautiful home, outside the McKinnon School Zone, sold for 2,620,000. Then we had number eight, Rose Street in Bentley. That was a beautiful Californian bungalow, renovated to the nth degree on big land, about 810-ish square metres. Again, outside the uh, McKinnon School Zone, that property sold for 2,435,000. We also had number 17, Windsor Avenue in McKinnon. That was basically a land value sale, basically at the end of the street where the school is. That property sold for $2 million for land value, breaking new records almost on a weekly basis now for land value in the McKinnon School Zone. If you are situated situated in and around the, uh, the college itself, your land value per square meter has certainly gone through the roof in the last two to three months. We did have number 15, Tyrone Street in Ormond, a reserve on that property on the day of 1.65 million. That property sold under competition. It was a corner block for 1,918,000. It's about 28, 30 a square meter for that little pocket of the McKinnon School Zone. And last but certainly not least, we had number 18, Osborne Avenue in McKinnon. That property was sold off market to one of our key clients that had missed out on a number of different properties with us and that property sold for 1,880,000. So some big numbers certainly uh, recorded in, in August, certainly not some big numbers by way of actual volume coming onto the market, but certainly looking towards spring, we do hope that uh, a lot more properties do come on for buyers out there in the marketplace. Pickings are slim, so what you do find out there that you are interested in potentially purchasing, I would say lock it in, Get it at today's prices because obviously lack of stock creates more competition and therefore higher prices. Thank you very much for watching this video. That's the August edition of our market wrap, trying to keep it short, sharp and sweet for you all. If you need anything answered ever into the future, you're welcome to call me. My name's Simon Pintado from the Buxton Real Estate Group. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next month.